Hi, Daniel Monforti here from Regal Technologies, and today we will be continuing to debug and analyze our remote control robot. Today we will be performing some pre-compliance tests on our robot to evaluate the robot's top board. In doing so, we will be looking for any extraneous noise that's being generated by the top board so that we can reduce it to the next board series. The reason why these tests are important is so that we can pass compliance testing at the end to bring our product to market. And in doing so, and in doing these pre-compliance tests, we are able to pre-evaluate our boards before taking it to a chamber. For our EMC pre-compliance testing that we're going to be doing today, we're going to be using our near-field probes. You could use a TEMSO like what we've demonstrated in some of our previous EMI videos, um, but due to the size of our robot, we're going to be using our near-field probes to sniff around on the different boards themselves to see if there's air, any areas of interest um, with just the probes. With our near-field probes and our spectrum analyzer, what we're looking for as we probe around on our board is large areas of interest over on, say, the left-hand side of the screen here, closer to our 9 kilohertz. And as we can see, right around here, we're getting a large level of interest down at the lower section of our, um, of our screen itself. Then there's another area right around our connector as well that's doing the same thing. And then we're also getting some around some of our ICs as well, and a little less so over these guys. So our main interest when we're doing our testing later on is actually going to be around this um, capacitor along with these pins here just because it seems like it's giving us the most radiated emissions. In order to measure our robot's radiated emissions, I'm going to use our spectrum analyzer's EMI mode to do so. Within this mode, there's a couple things I can do. I can already gone through and I've configured the instrument so that it's going to scan from 150 kilohertz all the way up to 1 gigahertz in our scan table. And then when it's sweeping across the screen, which it's now going to start doing, we'll actually see it change in time due to the log scaling, but also due to the RBW setting and how it's different in different sections of our sweep. Now that it's starting the sweep, I've got actually two separate top boards. We've got our first board, which is currently what's being measured by the instrument itself, and then we've got a second newer board, which hopefully has some improvements in our radiated emissions. Our area of interest is going to be our first peak over on the left-hand side of our screen here, and in order to take some other measurements with that, I'm actually going to use our marker function, which will be at this peak itself, but then also when we then go to and stop our scan, we'll see over on our right-hand side of our display our meter being displayed, which also has a max hold at the top of our meter, which shows the highest point that meter has shown on our scan itself. And this is continuously running when the instrument's not scanning. Now that I've gone through and taken a scan and got our meter measurement, I'm then going to go into our trace menu here, and I'm going to turn off our trace update and keep our trace display on, and then I'm going to go into and turn on our second trace, and we're going to turn on our trace update and display the trace, and then at this point, I'm now going to swap our boards to our newer board on our robot itself. With the new top board swapped, we can already see a noticeable improvement just on our meter itself, which is continuously running, compared to our um, basically maximum hold point on the meter. Next, if I go back to the sweep menu and I perform another scan, we'll see in blue, this is now the scan of our current board, the newer board. And at our meter itself, we've seen a noticeable drop-off along with areas around it and then other improvements throughout the scan itself, which is showing an improved radiated emission on this newer board compared to our first board we had. 